I think Stranger Things it was amazing. My sister put me onto it. Like the way they put that whole Goosebumps vibes mixed with like Encyclopedia Brown, you know, for the kids. Like I think it was, it was, is great, you know, because even adults can kind of see like a kid's perspective of like what they, you know, how they react and interact with each other. And I think it's it's dope because. I don't think we spend time to even understand the adolescent mind because it's like you grow out of that so you forget about it so you don't really backtrack and be like okay let me put myself in your shoes and and know how to speak to you i'm just saying it from my perspective but no other than that i think that i'm really interested in living life a little bit more like and what i mean by that is like actually spending the time and connecting with people like i think that's the main focus for me right now like in every breath that i take it's detachment from like the materialistic side of everything it's like yeah i have dope clothes i have dope things but it's like that doesn't really make me because like i start sometimes you know sleeping putting my head to the pillow and i'm like wow imagine i had an earthquake and i lost all this stuff you know imagine there was a crazy fire and then everything is gone so everything that i work for is just not real you know like this whole this whole perspective that i'm getting on life is just getting better i would say so that's what i'm more focused on just like the people i see the places you know i've been and like the people I meet too. I think that their frequency and their vibrations is, is something that I've always wanted to kind of key in and like, you know, just talk to people. Cause like people have their own lives, they're going through their own issues, they their own minds. So it's like to be understanding and a little bit more compassionate, that's what I've been like really into right now. Checking myself, you know, first, most importantly. And yeah, no, nothing, nothing crazy. There's good and bad in everything and you know, of course, technology, whenever it booms, it's it's great because you're able to have a little bit more leisure in your life. But I also think it does rip away from like the interpersonal communication with people. Like I was at Starbucks and I remember this, you know, female was ahead of me in line and I was, I just said, hi, how are you? Or something, you know, I was talking to her. She, did, she didn't even think I was speaking to her. Like I was looking like a crazy, you know, just in lines talking to somebody. And I think that is one of the worst things that is happening to especially our generation of millennials right now because it, it hurts man i think that having communication is dope there's a time when i speak to my mom she's like yeah i had to go to the payphone to call people just that organicness i i think is is dope because you're able to actually know somebody a little bit more instead of just like through like oh I, like i was talking to some dude at the store here in chicago i stopped by juggernaut and um we were just having a conversation and he was like oh man you know i've been seeing you i've been seeing everything that you've been doing online like that's so much information just like you keep swiping 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 and you're getting so much imagery but it's like how are you processing things you know and i think that's just that hurts man it, it hurts the soul i think a little bit for me it does you know i don't know some people probably love that you know but i don't like it and i think that having conversations with people is just a little bit more substantial than just being on a phone through a screen. It's like, who are we gonna have communications with?